muchachos y muchachas. So I know that this man recently, you know, passed and crossed the bridge somewhere to where I'm not sure. I'm not the judge and neither am I the uh, knowing of his final moments, but nonetheless, he's not here anymore. This video is not geared towards him regularly, but rather this curious photo that we've all seen floating around the internet of him and Marina Abramovic posing in front of Lucifer. Oh yes, Lucifer summoning some legion of demons. And I've always wanted to know the backstory to this or rather how this was all sourced or what was going on. And so I'm going to do just that. It's probably not going to be a long video, but I thought that if I were curious, you would be curious as well. With that being hold on to your butt, secure your wigs, stay right there. We're going to go through it. Just the other day, cell phone services went out all at once, and nobody's talking about this anymore. When the economy collapses, are you going to collapse with it? This really makes me grateful for my sponsor, My Patriot Supply. You can feel it coming. All the signs are there. With it comes financial disaster type budgets and sacrifice. Plan for the worst with the best. My Patriot Supply. My Patriot Supply has helped millions prepare. They'll help you too. Hard times take years to recover from. Make that first year easier with their one year emergency food kit. Get it now with $700 in savings at my website, preparewithnatley.com. Sealed inside ultra durable packaging, these delicious meals last up to 25 years in storage and provide over 2000 calories every day. You guys can get it at preparewithnatley.com. That's preparewithnatley.com. All right, let's get to the point. Where did this photo take place? It seems to be, in my best guesstimation, according to the Rothschild Foundation website, this happened November 18, 2019, where Marina Abramovic was commissioned to give a lecture at 7 p.m. that day. Marina Abramovic, as you guys may know by now, maybe not, uh, but she has been a performance artist, especially for the elite, and she has attracted many of multidisciplinary people in many industries, uh, mostly in highly positions, uh, just out of, I guess, her method called the Marina Abramovic method. Now, this is what she mostly talked about in her lecture, which, by the way, is available on YouTube. I will link it in my description below if you're curious to see what this lecture was about. But mainly it was her elaborating her past 50 year career and a lot of it did cover the Marina Abramovic method. If you guys are not sure or not uh, not in the knowing of what that is, I did make two videos about this. One about the Marina Abramovic method at high level. It's not uh, it's not long enough to bore you, but it's enough to give you the information. And then there's another one about energy clothes that she also has belief in. So I'm going to also link those in the description below and also uh, link it in the card above. So anyway, so she really elaborated on her past 50 years being a performance artist. Okay. Um, there were two particular clips that I found interesting. For instance, you know, people often argue and, you know, I know that, that there's this combative, you know, nature about the internet, about it not being that serious or that deep that, you know, Marina Abramovic is just a performance artist. However, she does mention a lot of spirituality in her content. In this particular uh, part, she describes a spirit existing within this photo of this female sitting in this exhibition, I believe surrounded by crystals. So, you know, take a listen to what she has to say about it. One, the, 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 the one, the, the, the basic position of human body is sitting, standing, lying. Here, she's sitting on the chair with the crystals, but the little chair is for the spirit. And if you not see the spirit that's sitting there next to you, it's not my problem. <laughs> And then she goes to describe the use of crystals in her work and her spirituality. And you can hear her here describing that she likes to get dictated by these minerals, by these crystals to do what they want her to do. I actually want minerals to tell me what to do. When I ask miners if I could just sit on the chair deep in the mines or lie in the bed and let me alone there for a long period of time until I wait for an idea, 
They think I was completely crazy. So really that's what the lecture was, just her recounting her 50 year experience as an artist, performance artist, and even going into some beliefs of her methods. What about this portrait in particular? What is the lore and story behind it? So this portrait has the title Satan Summoning His Legions dated 1796 through 1797 by Sir Thomas Lawrence PRA. So Sir Thomas Lawrence actually held a very prestigious position as an artist who worked with the monarchy. He painted the Pope, many things like this. It's hard to overstate how important Thomas Lawrence was in his own day. He was the darling of the aristocracy. He painted the royal family, he painted Queen Charlotte, he painted the Duke of Wellington, and he even painted the Pope. This painting was actually controversial in his time. He uh, received a lot of criticism from passer buyers from within his art studio when he was constructing this painting. The painting actually had the lore from a book called Paradise Lost by John Milton. So here's a little bit of a synopsis and I'm pulling this from Wikipedia, but this helps me kind of visualize understand this. It says Milton's story has two narrative arcs, one about Satan, Lucifer, and the other about Adam and Eve. It begins after Satan and all the other fallen angels have been defeated and banished to hell, or as it also called in the poem Tartarus, in Pandemonium, the capital city of hell, Satan employs his rhetorical skill to organize his followers. He is aided by Mammon and Beelzebub, Belial, Chemosh, and Moloch are also present. At the end of the debate, Satan and volunteers to corrupt the newly created earth and God's new and most favored creation, mankind. He braves the dangers of the abyss alone in a manner reminiscent of Odysseus and Aeneas. After the arduous tra traversal of the chaos outside of hell, he enters God's new material world and later the Garden of Eden. And if you guys are any uh, where aware of the story of Adam and Eve, then you know that he then goes to corrupt mankind. So I know that this is a quite concrete and literal source of the portrait's lore, but imagine how poetic, darkly poetic that is, that this particular portrait was sourced from a biblical epic, of, in, in particular, you know, honing in on Lucifer's rebellion against God and his intention to awaken and to give this pep talk to his legion of demons to then go corrupt mankind. And there you have it with Jacob Rothschild. Uh, and we all know the little ties that he has to all of these globalism type things in the world. I am not here to expand on that in this particular video, but uh, to then also partner with this, uh, you know, this, this, this performance artist, Marina Abramovic, who has this dark, um, you know, darkly sourced methods, I guess you can say, is that not poetic that this portrait is essentially a, an illustration of their influence on the world? Probably. I don't know. Let me know what your opinion is on that. That's just something that I found kind of crazy. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you have any other ideas for videos. I'm going to put my email right here. Um, with that being said, if you are new to this channel, once again, please hit subscribe and I will see you guys in my next rabbit hole in my next video. Bye-bye.